वन मेथड दिस वन इज द यूज इन मेनी प्लेसेस अनदर मेथड इज लाइक वॉट वी कैन से वी विल टेक राउटर इमेजिन दिस राउटर इज हियर एंड यू हैव वन स्विच एंड हियर यू हैव द क्लाइंट यू हैव मे बी फोर फाइव कंप्यूटर वी कैन से मे बी यू हैव मोर सो वी विल टेक फाइव एज एग्जाम्पल हियर और फोर एज एग्जाम्पल and this one this router may be connected to the isp here like we can connect we will say this will connect from here to the internet this may be here you have internet side means the isp router this is the isp router from there it is connected we can say like this isp router so here you have so in this case we assign here this is our company router which is connecting outside here we will give the ip we will write like 192.168. Dot like 1.1 example we are using this and inside we will get the same subnet ip so this is our scenario so how to configure what we need to do so this uh, router will get the ip give the ip and this router behave like a dhcp server and all this machine will get the ip so this is a simple configuration we will do here we can say dscp lab dscp lab we can write or dscp configuration in router so what we will do means we will write like this enable config t the basic thing what we are doing changing the name of the router whatever name you want to give you can give and then interface f0 by 0 you will assign the ip address whatever ip we have 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut so this way we assign the ip now dhcp configuration is this one ip dhcp pool we can write and pool name we can give anything i can give abc but we can give anything our wish whatever we want to give example here i let me show you when we put question mark they will show us i will go here i will change the name of the device then i will assign the ip address to the device ip address 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut and now we need to do ip dhcp pool any name we can give here like they are asking write any word so i will say abc this command is starting from here this one side dhcp for vlan 10 or different vlan we can create different vlan pool also i will show you that also then after that you will write network and whatever the ip you want to give example you want to give ip like this one 92.1.0 and 255.255.255.0 okay so see here this one we put here whatever the ip you want to give it will give from 192.168.1.0 1 in the place of 0 you will have 1 2 3 like that and gateway you need to give so you need to write default router and the gateway gateway will be the router interface ip so all the traffic will come here so this is only the commands we do here if you want to give the dns you will write dns server and write the dns ip so you will get that also so this is a command i will write here in the notepad ip dhcp server pool abc then network and you will write here the network id whatever you want to give and the subnet mask then after that you will write uh, default router and you will write 192.168.1.1 and then you will write dns server 8.8.8.8 this is a dhcp configuration now let's go here and check if you see you are getting here or not here getting 1.2 you get here and this 192.168.1.1 and also <coughs> in case if you want to reserve some ip you can reserve also you can write ip dhcp exclude and you can put you can say example you want to assign some ip to your server so you will say dhcp server don't give the ip from 192.168.1.10 from this range don't give to anyone reserve this one so they will reserve this also if we we have this option also anywhere we can yes we can write uh, any number i just example 110 
यू कैन गिव एनी थिंग और यू कैन रिजर्व ओनली सिंगल आई पी ऑल्सो और यू वॉन्ट टू रिजर्व मोर यू कैन रिजर्व और टू टाइम थ्री टाइम ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट फॉर डिफरेंट वील एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिजर्व सो नाउ आफ्टर दैट वेन वी डू लाइक दिस इट विल नॉट गिव वन डॉट टू इट विल गिव इलेवन इट रिजर्व फ्रॉम वन टू टेन सेम थिंग हियर वी स्टार्टिंग विथ बी इट इलेवन एंड हियर टू वेल टू वेल एंड इफ यू सी हियर ये ऑटोमेटिकली इट इज थर्टीन एंड देन इट विल बी लाइक फोर्टीन हियर like this it will be now imagine maybe you have the vlan then how we will do maybe you will say this two computers is in vlan 10 so we will say like here this is the vlan 10 and this is the vlan 20 just example i am taking small you can have maybe 10 vlan same concept will apply so you need to do inter vlan if you are having like that you need to do the inter vlan inter vlan if you remember we need to make the communication between different vlan so in that case if you remember we are using different method we can do svi switch virtual interface or rotron stick so in that case we will use the rotron stick like you have here vlan 10 we can say name is it and here we can say vlan 20 vlan 20 name is uh, any name we can give hr yeah and now here you need to do the sub interface if you remember we need to divide this into sub interface so here we will write like this instead of writing this 1.1 we will write interface f0 by 0 then no shut after that interface f0 by 0 dot 10 for vlan 10 and interface f0 by 0 dot 20 for vlan 20 this method we will use if you are having the inter vlan so this is the normal lab we can write here like normal with single vlan this configuration now i will divide this here what i will say we will do the similar lab but with vlan so here i will write for vlan with multiple vlan and here for multiple vlan you will not use the ip you will just first interface which we have here you will write no shut and then you divide the interface so here what i will do i will go here in the uh, first of all i will write node ip dscp pool i want to remove that one so i can remove this command by using this command with this one we created so i will write no in the front of that one so this will be remove now what i need to do means i need to go under the interface f0 by 0 before we assign the ip here this ip we assign so i need to remove that also so no ip address it is remove now what i can write i will write interface f0 by 0 i will write here no ip address this one we done and then we will write interface f0 by 0 dot 10 means we created the sub interface here and we if you want to assign the ip here first you need to write encapsulation dot 1q 10 vlan number for vlan 10 we are creating this then give the gateway what ip you want to give for vlan 10 example you want to give 10.1 for vlan 10 we will give that one and then you will divide again the main interface into vlan 20 sub interface for dot 20 then again encapsulation dot 1q you will write 20 here and ip address 192.168.20.1 give space 255.255.255.0 so here you have done the sub interface what you done here means i will show you here let me write here this one you created the sub interface here interface f0 by 0 dot 10 here directly you cannot assign ip so you need to write this one and you need to write the number of vlan which vlan you are doing this for which vlan this ip you are going to assign for which vlan 
for VLAN 10 we are going to assign you wrote that one and then what IP you assign that will be the gateway to the VLAN 10 you done this finish after that same thing we need to do for VLAN 20 also this is a router on a stick starting class we done this router on a stick for inter VLAN so this is for VLAN 20 you done here after that we can do the configuration so configuration will be similar here and here what we can say we can write this command 10.10 .10. so this will be the valid command just we are saying don't give the IP let me move this up don't give the IP from 10.1 uh, to 10.10 .10. and same thing I will say I am reserving this IP future maybe we want to use so this one is remain same these two commands after that this one you can write here VLAN 10 and here put 10 here put 10 that's all this is the DSCP configuration for VLAN 10 and copy the same thing paste here change this one should 20 if you forget to change you put same thing this will replace with this value so you need to change the name here this is for VLAN 20 now this is the multiple VLAN so they can communicate now so what we can do here we can yes correct every VLAN we should create the different DSCP for uh, each and every VLAN should have their own DSCP now we can copy like this go here paste here and check here we are getting any error or anything this one no worries from here anything 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 nothing so this one is good now let's see we can do fast forward or we need to wait for some time if you don't want to wait just do this one and after that go here yeah then click this yeah so now we will see here what and also we forget one thing that's why it is not working yeah what yeah 169 we are getting this is apipa like whenever dscp server is not working we we have the feature in our operating system they will give themselves the ip apipa automatic private ip addressing we are calling apipa we will get automatically this one from the server server means if server is fail our computer will give the ip all the machine will give get the ip from this range so what is the problem here means like in the switch we did not create the VLAN and also we did not do the configuration that is a problem. So now let's do the switch configuration here. I will write SW1 switch configuration enable config T and uh, host name we can change first like host name SW1 and then VLAN 10 name it vlan 20 name hr then what you have here interface you can see f0 by 5 going towards here so this interface we need to configure as a trunk like we are doing before when we do the router on a stick the interface which is connecting to the router we will configure trunk so this will be okay now 1 and 2 is in vlan 10 and 3 and 4 is in vlan 20 so we can write here like interface range interface range f0 by 1 dash 2 switch port mode trunk sorry not trunk switch port mode axis switch port axis which VLAN this is a VLAN 10 then you have interface range f0 by 3 yes yeah switch port mode axis then uh, i think error yeah switch port axis vlan 20 mm, yes now we can copy paste and we will check here let's see yes let's see everything look good here 
and we can wait because this will take time or do the fast forward then go here and check any computer now you see when i done here automatically it get 10.11 dscp request yes for this computer yes here this is old one you have so you can click here and click new yeah refresh yes and you can see here 12 okay then check here do again refresh here and see this is for vlan 20 so 20 range you are getting same thing you will get here also vlan 20 yeah this is working perfectly yes if you have one more scenario